the inside sagung here, then I go to the ride, it will put me into that position to do the panastas disarm, which is the right hand pulling and the left hand pushing and thrust into the body. Okay, so if I do the sagung to sakai, which is the scissor, thrusting and pulling and pushing. See the wrists? You want to get the wrist to bend like that. And the disarm should go past his body, and that goes in the armpit, okay? Now, again, this isn't tactical application because I would never uh, disarm this dagger and then they get killed by that one, right? But I'm showing you the, the entryway and the pathway to the disarm, see? We're in this basic flow. Now what I want you to do is within that flow, insert. So one person is a feeder and the other person now, see I'm starting to what? Find my what? All my techniques from, okay, from the base of fire drill here. See, I just insert. See where that comes from? I don't care. See, I'm not trying to disarm. I'm just trying to what? Learn how to what? Flow past any, anything he might have to give me. Okay, you are uh, dumbed down in your training in your whole martial arts life to tell you that the first thing you do in any violent encounter is block or parry or deflect or stop your opponent's attack. And that is completely backwards. But that's not the high art, right? That's down here, okay? Most people live down there, right? In the shallow water, right? There's a whole vast ocean out there past this deep, right? Okay. So that's why the double dagger is taught before single dagger. Because now if you're already aware that this is, this is a good tactic to enter, see now that single dagger technique, actually pretty good because I'm using double dagger tactics.